students as a part of uh, the corrosion unit today i am going to explain you about uh, the factors affecting or influencing the rate and extent of corrosion in this context i am going to explain about uh, the two main factors which affects the rate and extent of corrosion so all the factors which affects or influences the rate and extent of corrosion can be broadly categorized into two categories the first one is nature of metal and the second one is uh, nature of environment and in the case of nature of uh, the metal we are going to discuss about uh, the galvanic series which is the uh, one of the sub factor of the nature of the metal and second sub factor of the nature of the metal is a relative area of anode and cathode third sub factor which comes under the category of nature of the metal is uh, purity of the metal fourth is over voltage and the fifth one is uh, nature of the oxide pair so about these five sub factors we are going to discuss under the heading of nature of uh, the metal so in this context uh, i am going to explain you about the first sub factor which comes under the category of uh, the nature of the metal which is the bata uh, the galvanic series so before going to discuss what exactly is the galvanic series we have to discuss some basics related to the galvanic series that is why galvanic series have come into picture what is the reason so before that we have to discuss something about the electrochemical series now let me recapitulate the electrochemical series uh, about the electrochemical series so precisely i have explained in one of my video now the electrochemical series will give the information about the corrosive behavior of the metal series no doubt in that because the electrochemical series says that whatever the electrodes that is whatever the metals which are above the hydrogen in the electrochemical series are associated with the negative standard reduction potential value since they are associated with the negative standard reduction potential value they act as anode and undergo oxidation and oxidation is nothing but the corrosion right so based upon this fact we can say that the electrochemical series is giving the information about the, the corrosive behavior of the metals but students have you come across the alloys in the electrochemical series that is have you observed any alloy which is a part of electrochemical series so no doubt in stating that this electrochemical series is giving the information about the corrosive behavior of the metals but it is not giving the information about the, the alloys and alloys are nothing but the combination of the metals what are the alloys the combination of the metals when the alloys of the combinators combination of the metals and when the metals do undergo the corrosion definitely the alloy as it is a mixture of the metals it they will undergo the corrosion but we cannot uh, know the information about corrosive behavior of the alloys with the the electrochemical series because we cannot find any of the alloy which is a part of uh, the electrochemical series now this is one of the disadvantage associated with the electrochemical series student that is it will not give the information about the, the corrosive behavior of uh, the alloys now the second disadvantage of electrochemical series is now students whether the metals are confined to one room or one place or one laboratory no the metals are a part of environment they are a part of the environment they are a part of environment but this electrochemical series has been developed in the chemical laboratory 
is the chemical laboratory by using a standard hydrogen electrode as the reference electrode. Now, as it is being designed or developed inside the chemical laboratory, it will not give the accurate information about the corrosive behavior of the metals because the metals are a part of the environment. They survive in the environment. But this electrochemical series has been developed uh, by considering the standard hydrogen electrode as a reference electrode in the chemical laboratory. In the chemical laboratory. So, it will not give the accurate information about the corrosive behavior of the metals also. It is saying that whatever the metals which are above the electrochemical series are associated with the negative standard reduction potential values and as they are associated with negative standard reduction potential values they are anodic in nature since they are anodic in nature they act as anode and anode oxidation and oxidation is nothing but the corrosion. But this was developed in the chemical laboratory but the metal is a part of uh, the environment since the metal is a part of environment uh, but definitely we can say that this electrochemical series fails to give the accurate information about corrosive behavior of the metals also so in order to overcome these two disadvantages associated with the electrochemical series another series came into picture that series which came into picture in order to overcome the disadvantages associated with the electrochemical series is nothing but galvanic series it's nothing but galvanic series nothing but galvanic series now how the galvanic series has been prepared so for the preparation of the galvanic series what the scientists did is they have taken one of the metal and they coupled it with the, the saturated calomel electrode as a reference electrode. Let us say that this is one of the metal and they have coupled it with the saturated calomel electrode and they have immersed in the seawater. Now they have considered the seawater as an electrolyte that is they have considered the environment. But uh, while developing the electrochemical series, they, won't, they, they do not they have, they have not consider the environment. But here, for developing the galvanic series, what they did is uh, they have taken the metal and they coupled it with the, the saturated calomel electrode, which is acting as a reference electrode, and they immersed in the they immersed in the seawater, which is the electrolyte in this case. Now they have determined the standard oxidation potential value. Let us say that uh, initially they took the magnesium as the metal and they coupled it with the saturated calomel electrode and they have immersed or dipped in the seawater by which they got the information about uh, the standard oxidation potential of the magnesium. Now what they did is they have considered one of the alloy of the magnesium and they coupled with the saturated calomel electrode in a similar fashion they have determined the standard oxidation potential. Then they have considered the second alloy of the magnesium. Then they have considered the third alloy of the magnesium. So after the completion of the metal and its corresponding alloys they went for another metal. Another metal let us say that zinc. Zinc. Now the zinc uh, they are connected to the saturated calomel. The position is same. The saturated calomel electrode is chosen as the standard while uh, developing the galvanic series. So now they have taken the zinc. Now they are immersed in the same salt water that is uh, sea water and they got uh, uh, the information about uh, the standard oxidation potential. Standard oxidation potential. Then what they have done? What they did is they have taken the alloy of one of the alloy of the zinc in a similar fashion they determine the standard electrode potential of that alloy next followed by the second alloy of the zinc followed by third alloy of the zinc so in this fashion they have determined the standard oxidation potential of each and every metal and their corresponding alloys 
and after determining the standard oxidation potential value of each and every metal and their corresponding alloys they have arranged all these in in decreasing order of standard oxidation potential decreasing order of standard oxidation potential means what friend what is oxidation potential oxidation potential is nothing but potential of the electrode to act as anode and anode of oxidation oxidation is nothing but corrosion so since oxidation is nothing but corrosion we can say that oxidation potential is linked with the corrosion is linked with the corrosion so what they did is they have arranged the metals and their alloys in the increasing order of standard oxidation potential or 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 corrosive behavior of the metals and their alloys by which they obtained the series which is so called as galvanic series now what is the galvanic series definition the series which is obtained by arranging all the metals and their alloys in the decreasing order of standard standard oxidation potential or corrosive behavior of the metals and their alloys is called as galvanic series is called as galvanic series so coming again the series which is resulted by arranging the standard oxidation potential or or corrosive behavior of all the metals and their corresponding alloys in the decreasing order that is nothing but galvanic series now you can see the galvanic series here which has been depicted on the board so if you see the galvanic series you will find the magnesium at the top so magnesium at the top means so we can say that magnesium is more active towards the oxidation that is oxidation is nothing but corrosion so magnesium is more susceptible to undergo the oxidation and as the oxidation is nothing but corrosion we can say that magnesium is more susceptible to undergo the corrosion so already I said once they have taken the metal and they recorded the standard oxidation potential followed by its alloy its corresponding alloys so next magnesium alloys next zinc aluminium low carbon steel stainless steel lead tin alloy lead tin brass copper bronze so so here we can find here we can find the alloys which are not a part of the electrochemical series students so it is giving the information about corrosive behavior of uh, the metals and uh, their corresponding alloys as well which is one of the disadvantage associated with the electrochemical series so copper nickel alloy silver titanium gold uh, so if you see this the gold and platinum which are the noble metals which are at the last of this particular galvanic series which means that the silk gold and the platinum will not undergo the corrosion at all because what is this galvanic series is decreasing order of oxidation potential or or corrosive behavior of the metals and their corresponding alloy now gold and platinum are at the bottom means we can say that definitely they won't undergo the corrosion at all i hope you understood this particular first sub fact which is a part of nature of work, the metal students so this is very important from the examination point of view right so in a, another class i'm going to explain the, the remaining uh, the remaining sub factors which are uh, which comes under the category of nature of the metal which is the which is one of the broad category which influences or affects the rate and extent of corrosion so thanks for watching